Hey guys, this is Ruhan here from Filmagination and today we are going to recreate a fan poster. The fan poster that we are going to recreate today will be the Revenant poster. We will be doing this project in Photoshop, so I have downloaded all the raw files that we will be needing for this project. And this is the picture of my father that we will be using for the base. So let's just open Photoshop and import the Revenant poster, because that's the exact dimensions we are looking for. So now let's just import the picture of my father on top of it. And now let's just line them up. Now let's just import the beard and line that up. So let's just use the warp tool because the beard looks a little off. Okay, that looks a little better. That matches up with the face a little better. So now the edges of the beard look a little rough, so I'll just use the refine edge tool to clean them up. So now let's just import the second beard. Now do the same thing with this one, place it properly. And uh, I think that looks good. Okay. Now let's clean the edges so it matches with the other beard. The edges of this beard looks a little rough, so let's just clean them up. I don't like the way this part looks, so let's just do this. Let's clean it up. And, uh, okay. So now that the beard is done, let's just import the hair. We'll do the same thing with the hair, just place them in the correct position. Now what I'm doing is importing the real hair texture because that makes it look a little more realistic. So that looks a lot better. Now let's import the third hair that we have to make it look a little more realistic. But this, this is too thick for what we want, so I'll just use the warp tool. Let's just clean this up. Now let's just place the image of the trees that are in the background. Now let's drop the opacity and match the images. So that matches up pretty well. Now let's just import the image of the snow and put it in the background and place this rasterize layer. Now clean this up. Now we want the trees and the skies in different layers because we want the texture of the trees on the forehead. So let's just select the sky and delete. So now we have the texture of the trees that looks a little rough so I think we'll use refine edge, play with the settings, increase the feather, shift edge and ok that looks better. So now we have the texture of the trees, now we can erase this because you only need this much. Now there is a little bit of texture of the trees on top of the forehead so clean this up. Now let's just put the snow in the correct position. Now I've imported a fur coat because I think he's wearing a fur coat in the poster. So let's just place that there. This looks a little too bright and clean. So let's just dirty it up, decrease the brightness to increase the contrast. Let's just use the warp tool and increase the size of the shoulder. Place. Okay, that looks good. Now let's just import the images of the flames. Now to remove the flames from the background we can use the color range tool. Select the colors we want and select the colors we don't want. Okay so let's just delete that. 
Now I think we should go on to the color correction now. Let's just decrease the contrast, increase the brightness because the image is a little washed out. Now let's darken it up a little bit because it's not that bright in the poster. I don't like the way this part looks so I'll just delete it. Now I'll just decrease the saturation because the original poster is very washed out. Now let's just play with the color balance a little more bluish tones. Now let's put on the wounds and scars. Let's just select the white and delete that. Now just select the scar that we want. Uh, now I'm placing it on the nose. The edges look a little rough so I'll just use the refine edge tool. The edges still look a little rough so I'll just use the erase tool to clean them up a little more. So now let's just select the other scar and do the same thing with this one. That looks good. Now I don't like the way the eye looks. It looks a little too boring. So I'll just import another eye. And place it. Just align this. Now let's just darken the eye a little bit because it doesn't match with the face. Refine edge, play with the settings. Feather it a little more. Okay. So that looks good. Now I don't like the way the flames look so I think I'll download a different one from Google. So I've downloaded a PNG because that makes my work a lot easier because I don't have to select the foreground from the background. Now let's just increase the saturation of the flames. So let's just play with the colors. Now let's see how they match up. The image still needs a little more blue. So I'll just use color balance to add a little more blue. Now let's just quickly add all the text. All the names and everything on the top. And the sky looks a little too light, that's why the font isn't appearing. So I think we need to decrease the brightness of the sky. Okay, that's doing something weird with the hair. I think we should erase the hair, clean this up. Now just continue writing all the text. Now we have to put the poster borders, the white edges. So the, the method that I found that is the most easiest, in my opinion, is uh, to do this. Now go to the blending options, select stroke, do this, select color white. Okay, so that is the easiest way to put borders, in my opinion. That is, I'm not saying that is the right way, that is my way. There are many different ways of doing one thing in Photoshop. That's what I like about this software. So this is the way I do it. If you have an easier way, you can do that. So I think we're done with this. That's the final poster. So yeah, that'll be all. Thanks for watching.